Hi friends, welcome to this session. In this session, we'll see how you can use Azure Key Vault service. Now you might have faced a scenario where you have generated secrets or passwords or access token or encryption key, which you don't want to share with uh, your client or users and you want to share in some safe mode, then this Key Vault service comes handy in that. So today we'll see how you can use this service to create your keys and secrets and also we'll see how the REST APIs which are provided can be used to test them or access them uh, through any of the REST API client, say Postman. So we'll see how using Postman you can actually access uh, these keys and secrets which you save. Uh, using the REST API calls. So let's get started. Uh, we log into your portal and then on the left side you will see key vaults or you can go to all services and search for key vault. Click on that. Add. Give a unique name. So it shows their tick mark, that means it's unique. You select your subscription, resource group. I already have an existing resource group. You can create a new if required. Select your location, I will leave as is. Select your pricing tier. I will just go with the A1 standard just for demo purpose. And select one of the service principles. So here you are going to add either an application or a user who will have access to this particular key vault now i would suggest normally to use a service principle and assign the access to the service principle so add i already have created one service principle if you want to know how to create one i will provide a link uh, in the description of this video you can follow that video and create one so select principle search for it select and here you give permissions to this service principle you can give separate permissions to keys or secrets or certificates so in this session we'll see how to access secret and i am going to give right now all the access on the secrets but you can see you can manage them by either get list set delete restore purge that type of operations okay okay and create okay so your key vault is ready now you when you click on that you will see some more details about the key vault and then click on secrets and now we will add our one of the secret so we are going to create it manually we will we'll call it az secret and we'll give value like I just given simple one two three four five six seven eight nine just for showing up rest of things i'm just leaving like that though you can actually set when this gets activated or when it gets expired and create so you see now it's very easy to save your secrets in keyboard and now we'll look into how you can access this particular secret using a rest api call and I will use Postman to show how this can easily be done. So open your Postman and create a collection. I created this key vault collection and I have added some requests here. Now there are a few things which you have to do before we can run these requests. You need to create an environment which will have these specific environment variables created. So you need to create client ID, client secret, the resource which needs to be accessed, a subscription ID, a resource underscore MGMT I have created because one resource you will give access to the list of vaults, whereas there is another resource name 
uh, as you can uh, you will there is another resource name to access uh, the secret within the world so I just create two separate resource names and then uh, use as and required to get the access token then vault URI uh, secret underscore name so this will hold the name of the secret and this vault underscore name will hold the name of the vault key vault access token this is the one which will be passed as an access token for authentication to Azure uh, to get access to resource and this is your tenant ID once you have set these environment variables and their values only keyword access token you don't need to set because this will be done uh, dynamically when we make a call to get the access token uh, once that is done then we'll start number one we'll get the access token for authentication the another call we'll make to get the list of all the walls available now in this example i am keeping it simple where only one vault is there so you don't need to have very complex script to filter out which specific vault you want to look into so whatever the vault name you'll receive will be one single vault then within that vault we'll send another request to get the names of all the secrets and once we get the name of the secrets we'll request to get the value of the secret so we'll make these calls in order so let's start first one is get access token uh, you need to create this get request and the url will be something like this what token url tenant id will come from environment variable value we will pass the client id client secret grant type will be client underscore credential and first we are going to send request to get list of vaults so resource will be pointing to resource management also in header you will create content type in test tab we will create these two statements it is nothing but getting the response from the request taking out the access token value and then updating the environment variable key vault access token so that it can be used in the next request now the next request is to get the list of all the vaults so here you have to create a get request uh, this is the url you will pass subscription id which you have set in environment variable you will have two headers content type and authorization like bearer keyword access token and in here also in the test you will write two statements simple the response body will be passed and the vault name which will receive will set it in vault underscore name variable so let's run this and you can see we have received the vault name now using this vault name we will try to send another request to get all the secrets which are saved in that vault now before that we cannot use the same uh, same key vault access token now because this was generated for a specific resource which was management.azure.com now because we are going to access another resource we need to change the resource here and get the authentication access token again so we will send this request and you see here now resource which we have requested for is vault.azure.net and we got access token so now we'll go to the request to get the secret name the get request is simple uh, we'll access the vault name which we have saved in environment variable based on the previous request and slash secrets will give all the names of the secrets which are created headers will have authorization and content type uh, being passed and in the test tab you will again write two statements which will pass the response body and will save the secret name which will receive back so we will run this and you can see here this is the secret id which is saved and az secret is the name of the secret 
so we'll save this full uri because it will be easy to run this uri to get the value for this particular secret so now we'll run the last request by passing the secret uri and using this secret name is nothing but it will hold the full uri which we saved in the previous request and passing authorization and content type and when we run this we should be receiving our secret value this is the secret which we have saved and now we can get it so as you see this is more safe way where you are not directly giving someone the secret value rather saving it in the key vault and then providing them the access to this key vault through a service principle thank you for watching this video